Hi, friends. Hi, friends. You did it on your own. Friend, friend. Yeah, say good morning, friends. Friend. Oh, yeah. Is mommy your best friend? Oh. <laughs> say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. Like Target. And we're going to Target. Yeah. And, and she has never been more excited ah. in her entire life. Oh. Yeah. And what are we going to do at Target today? No. Oh, no? Nothing? Who are we going with? The Target. Go, Gramps. Gramps going to pick us up. We're going to have a girls' day. Say, girls' day. <laughs> Woohoo. Woohoo. Um, we're pumped. We're super pumped. Get your fingers out of your nose, you nasty. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, we're going to take you along with us on our girls' day today, huh? Cool. Yeah. Um, you. Do you want to go get some breakfast? Yes. What do you want to eat? Hash browns? Yes. Okay. And Target. I know. Target. This kid in Target. She's already basic. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? You're reading a pre-K book? Can I sit with you? Here, let me take this. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. What's your shirt say? <laughs> what? It says autism? Autism. The world from a different perspective. Autism. Oh, yeah? Autism. Who got you that shirt? Priscilla. Priscilla. Priscilla did? And Mr. Asa? Asa! And Isaiah? Isaiah. And Abby? Abby! You know, Abby fell asleep in your bed yesterday. Yay. Yay? Maybe you guys can be friends. Oh. In Target? You want to go to Target? Her main concern is Target. Will you read me a book real quick? What's this book called? No. Uh, no. It's oh, no. Books. Cook. Okay, you don't want to read to me? Put away the books. Oh, you're going to put away the books? Okay. Did mommy disturb you? I want his heart. You want a heart? Oh, yeah, we have confetti every. Don't put that in your mouth. We have confetti everywhere. Who got you the confetti? The tooth fairy. No, not the tooth fairy. No. Who brought the confetti? It's a present. It's a present? A tooth fairy. The tooth fairy did? And where'd the balloons come from? From the tooth fairy. Oh yeah, the tooth fairy is a big deal in our house. It's from the tooth fairy. Okay, well I'm sure Priscilla would like to be known as a tooth fairy too. Huh? From Walmart. What? From Walmart. I don't know if it's from Walmart. I don't think so. From the tooth fairy. Oh, the Walmart tooth fairy? I bet she's a special breed of tooth fairy, huh? From hey. Walmart. Oh, from Walmart? Hey, who's your best friend? <coughs> oh, the subscribers are your best friend? Yeah. Get that out of your mouth. <coughs> hey, are the subscribers your best friend? Yes. They are? I didn't no, know that. Target. Oh, you just want to go to Target? Yes. And what? What are we getting at Target? A present. You want to get a present? Yeah. If you don't get that out of your mouth. I want Target. Oh. Shoes on. You want to put your shoes on? Yes. Look at this. <laughs> the aftermath. What are you holding your arms at me for? Don't be so sassy. Love you. Hey, I love you. Can I have a kiss? All right, let's go. Walking. Ella, this way. Huh? Can you open the trunk? Ella, who got you that shirt? Did Asa and Priscilla bring you that shirt? She loves it too. She's like, Priscilla, you'll see the video later. Grant needs one of those shirts. Yep. Let's get in some. I'll order you one from them. Maybe they'll deliver to you with confetti. Hey, can you get in the seat, please? Get in, please. Hey friends, and guess who I'm with? Mom. Mom! It's a girls' day. Say girls' day. Girls' day. Woohoo! Woo so the theme typically is this is really bright. Here we go. 
Uh, the theme typically when I'm in a car with someone who is not on YouTube, I ask them questions about YouTube. So I'm gonna ask you the same questions that I asked John. Okay. Okay. What do you think about this whole YouTube thing? Oh, we couldn't be prouder of you. Your father, you know that kind of goofy laugh smile thing that he does when he doesn't have words? Yeah. That's what he does. He yeah. just chuckles when I tell him how many subscribers you've hit or how many views you have on a video. He just, you know how he does, he kind of puffs up and hur, hur, hur. Yeah. yeah. So, so proud. He called me the other night. That I don't think I even told you this yet. He called me the other night um, when he was on his way to Oma's to like, you know, confirm that we're going to FaceTime or whatever. And I told him about my Patreon and like how many patrons I had. He said, like, really? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> and I was like, oh, and John heard him. And John's like, oh, he's so proud That's of exactly you. That's <laughs> exactly the sound that I'm talking about. Yeah, and I, that made me really happy because, you Wait know. till you tell me you have real car insurance. That's State gonna, Farm. It's going to blow his doors off. There. I know, and that we're like fully adulting by ourselves. I remember when we had to shop around and beg somebody to put you on. <laughs> I told State Farm insurance. that too. I said, you guys kicked me off. No. It's so bizarre that you want me back. And she's like, well, you're not on paper. You're not bad. Any like, they didn't see anything that I'd ever done as a teenager. You were a scofflaw. I was really bad. I wasn't, I sped, like, I was speeding a lot. And I got a lot of speeding tickets in a very short amount of time. Oh, yeah. Big ones. Like, big, big ones. Like, $300 ones. And the fact that my parents paid $600 plus to keep me insured on the roads. You should have put me on the Votran. We should have put you I on the Votran. I know, I can't believe it. So hopefully someday I'll be able to repay you guys for that because I, I would never in a million years pay that much money for car insurance. Well, we didn't want to drive you everywhere. I know. <laughs> I turned out okay. You that's, turned out that's, amazing. Long story short. Amazing. Yeah, so what do you got, what else am I gonna ask you? Hmm. I don't know. I have my seatbelt on. I have my, she thought I didn't have my seatbelt on in my last video so she was prepared to leave me a comment about how she's seen people it out made of cars. me so uncomfortable thinking she didn't have a seatbelt on. Always have my seatbelt on. I know better. I know. Especially because I know you watch my videos. I don't want to get in <laughs> trouble by my mom. <laughs> but we're off to Target with the girls. Go to Target. Go to Target. Target. That's right. And does mom want to do a little car karaoke? Uh, sure. I, yeah. <laughs> I sing all the time in my car, but nobody hears me. I. You don't even really sing with me in the car. I know. I only sing with Ellen when we listen to, what do we listen to, Ellen? Days of Future Past. You wanna listen to Moody Blues? No. Oh, oh, Ella, throw down in front of all mommy's <laughs> friends? That's all you ever wanna listen to. I know, she's in a weird stage right now. She only likes rock and roll. That's all right, I got rock and do roll. Do we have classic vinyl? We do. Stand by. You want those pinky pink me pops? Mm -hmm. We'll pick one out. This is always a problem. You ready? Yes. Follow Graham. Let's go walking. Your toys are all still here. Here's another one. ABA therapy in real life. Good job, Bella. You're a good helper. Another one. You gotta earn your keeps. Hi, friends. Uh, we're done at Target. We're in the Starbucks drive through I saw Megan and her husband Jeff and little Brielle. If you guys remember, Brielle is my little itty bitty fan who loves to watch me and it, it was so cool to see her in person. She was so sweet and she's the cutest kid I've ever seen. I could squeeze her. She had little boots on and they, her rain boots lit up so she got out of the cart to show me and was jumping. It was really cute. Anyway, I'm going to do a little mini Target haul when we get back to my mom's. Graham's house. Okay. We're going to Graham's house. Yes. Yes. Say Graham's house. Yeah. Did you have fun at Target? No. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, we're back to mom's. The lighting's really bad. It's still not gonna be any better. And Ella just had a little, um, actually, eh, it was like a medium-sized meltdown. I would say I have all the meltdowns. How are you handling it, Graham? Um, How do meltdowns <laughs> affect you? Um, oh, I'm gonna cry. No. Yeah, I just wish Sometimes life could be easier for Ella. Yeah, but you have to know that that's also, I know it's hard to watch. I'm sorry. You're crying for other reasons too, I think. I pray every night for Ella to just have her best life ever. 
And I just feel bad when she can't communicate what she, what she really feels. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry, stop it. I will explain this in, because this is my life 24 seven. And my mom has been around Ella her whole entire life and often, so it's not like you've never seen a meltdown before. You know no, what I mean? No, but things are just a different, things are different right now. This, yeah. Mom's going through a lot with her mom passing and just, you want to watch My Little Pony on TV? That's a great job asking. Great job asking. See, there you go. Ella gets over things relatively quickly. The thing is with this meltdown, she was throwing stuff and overall it wasn't, it was a tantrum that turned into a meltdown, I would say. So with those kinds of things, I, I tend to not, I'd be a little, I'm a little more stoic about it because I know that she, her receptive communication is there and she's understanding what I'm saying to her. She just gets so wound up that it's hard for her to come back down. That's why I don't engage when she's doing those things. And as a grandmother, obviously my mom wants to, you know, make her feel her best self and happy and everything. So it's hard, harder for her to um, deal with the meltdowns as far as, uh, not being upset or bothered by him like I am, but this is my life every day and I'm used to it. Ella is now over it. That was about 15 minutes and it'll probably, you know, I'll probably have a couple more today. She's just in that kind of mood. But I also, I need to be very open with you guys about autism. It's not always like, oh, look how cute she is. She talks so well and she's living her best life. Like Ella has moments. And see how quickly she got over it? I know. Well, see? It's easier for her than me. <laughs> I know. She's, she knows how to play us. I mean, Ella's very smart. Don't look at my nose. It's I know. Right. <laughs> it's okay. You're just. Uh, but I'm just so proud of you because I mean that's hard work. I thought Lauren was hard when she was a teenager. This is hard work, and I'm just so proud of what you're doing to help her live her best life. I, I just couldn't be more proud of you in just every single way possible. Oh. This kid is my life. Oh. He looks so little compared to me. <laughs> Look, like you're my. Like it's not. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. No, I was just saying, like, I deal with these more often than you do. And your mom's having a little bit of a, not weak, because you're not weak, but, you know, a harder time these days with her mother passing and other things. So I think just seeing Ella having to struggle with things that are typical. But if you really, really think about it, any five year old who's not getting exactly what they want can do the same exact thing. Or 15 year old or, or 50 year old. I did it at 16 when I didn't get the car I wanted I mean it, it's all kids are kids and um, her communication skills are a little delayed and her being able to soothe herself is a little bit delayed but overall that was that was a tantrum that kind of turned into a meltdown and now we're on the upside so yeah I just had to show you guys real autism real life like my life isn't just keto and eating like this is my life so um, it's not all terrible even though oh, mom got sad. It's not terrible at all. Actually, it's I envy Ella's life. Ella gives no hoots about yeah, he's anything. Yeah, fifty dollars worth of my little pony. Yeah, like she's rocking her best life right now. She just needs to work through things a little bit differently than we do, and that's okay. So, just wanted to be honest with you guys. That's 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 that. Okay. See, we're criers here. We're emotion feelers. We feel the feelings. See how quickly she bounced back. Talk about me or Ella. Both of you two. <laughs> The bounce back in this family is just unbelievable. You have to bounce back with stuff like that. I have to bounce back so many times a day. I think that's why I'm just, I don't. Yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> no, Ella's gonna be. Does it ever make you cry? In the middle of the night. Like when she's been waking up like, and I don't know what's wrong, like the tooth thing, and like I don't know if she's got growing pains. Like when she can't communicate to me and she's in pain, that's when I get upset. But um, that's also something I really can't change, so we have to be proactive with stuff like that, you know? Keep us on our toes. But she can tell me what's wrong with her. It's just when she's so frustrated, she can't get it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> to see a mini Target haul. Mm, yay! First thing is this shirt. If you have a Target, you should probably go get one because I know all of you love Gilmore Girls the way I do. This Gilmore Girl shirt. It's actually for mom. Here you go. Thanks, babe. We got Hatchimal underwear for Ella. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Aren't they cute? Oh, how cute is that? Yes, yeah, she picked them out herself. Ella's doing fantastic with potty training. That was probably the easiest thing we've ever done with her, and I'm shocked. Um, Ella got this little Happy Places toy thing. I'll hold that as ransom for when she, I need it as leverage. 
Um, I love Mrs. Meyers brand soap. So I got the dish soap and the hand soap. These are really, really cheap and they're great. Organic, but I don't know. I just like the way they smell. This is the radish scent. Ah, it smells clean. And then surfers for autism is coming up, so I have to get bathing suits. And I'm trying to think ahead because Ella is potty training. So I got her a tankini, oh. so that way it's like underwear, and I don't have to pull off a wet bathing suit. So this is the top. How cute is that? And these are the little bottoms. I hope this top is long enough because she's got a really long torso, but we'll see. And then I got her a one piece. I'm gonna bring back up bathing suits, obviously, because, well, potty training. And then I got this little one piece ties really high above her neck and it's really 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 cute so that's it how overwhelming and underwhelming was that <laughs> hey friends I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog for today we're hanging out at Graham's house my mom watching my little pony Ella's living her best life do you guys wait do you guys want to see her real quick this is like an Ella vlog today it's kind of nice I love her <laughs> hold on let's go check out Ella this is the current situation right now you're watching the movie book? And are you, can you give your pony a drink of your juice? Oh, such a good mommy. Yep, she's got all her My Little Ponies, her snack. We think there was a little hanger involved in that meltdown. Yeah, we are, that's like us. That's we're famous for that, I think, as a family. Graham's hanging out there. We got My Little Pony, and that's, that's our afternoon, guys. That's. That's today's vlog. I'm not gonna go any more into the afternoon. I wanna, you know, edit, upload, do all those things. And then I'm waiting for like three o'clock when I am gonna be on Priscilla and Asa's vlog today. So if you're not subscribed to Fathering Autism, you should be, because I'm gonna be on there today. And I'm kind of nervous. I, I literally blacked out when they showed up at my house. I don't remember how I reacted, and I'm pretty sure it was bananas. So forgive me. Oh well. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for being so supportive. I love you all, and you guys have just been so wonderful to me, and John loves you guys. Like, he is so into YouTube right now. You guys have been so kind to him, so thank you for that. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you, subscribe, watch my latest video, binge watch, get to know me if you're new here. Please, let me know where you're from, what are you doing here? How did you find me? And let's just get to know each other in the comment section. Make friends. Make friends down there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.